bazalwana sisi eta banyana bafana ye this another day nam tanje yes uh, uh, as for the request of people yes nam tanje we shall be talking about uh, these things how do you say you're sorry to your guy or to your woman when you did something wrong uh, it's a big issue there out there but but too bad somebody they really want to say i am sorry but they don't know how to say it so like take clink and watch dj don and on immortalized tv africa <laughs> The experts here, I have the the, the, the the experts and all the, the wise women and all the, the professionals that they've been in the game, they know what's going on. They're gonna tell you some facts, some tips on how to say you're sorry to your guy or to your girl. So it's gonna be hot and I'm telling you so much. Okay, I am uh, DJ Don, and this is Facts with DJ Don, and we are on Immortalized TV. We are live. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Okay. Yes. Before before she goes in, let me introduce her. Oh, let's ask her. Oh, she, she's very beautiful, as you can see. <laughs> so let's see. She's been in the game. She's one of the wise women, and she's a professional, and also she's a model and a vixen. So uh, all right, let's let the viewers know who you are, madam. Hello. I'm called my Miss Gladys. Um, as you all know me as Juicy Girls, I'm sure there are some people out there watching me live. Hallelujah. As you can see, it's not easy to be in Mother TV. So actually, um, we are here to talk about the fact. Hallelujah. You understand? Uh, so we need to, you understand, to yes. be brave. Hallelujah. Okay. So you want to uh, make your man happy. Uh, yes. All right. Um, uh, without much ado about nothing, uh, let's move on into the program today. Yes, uh, we'll be talking about how to say you are sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, but they don't know how how to say we are sorry. So there are some ways, there are some techniques you can say you are sorry. You understand? And you make your guy or your woman actually forgive you. All right. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. Miss Gladys, uh, how do you say you are sorry to your guy? Actually, um... It depends of what you guys have been through and it depends on what made you guys to have an issue. Okay. okay, yeah, when you're sorry, when you made a mistake, whether it's your guy or you that made a mistake, actually you're supposed to um, apologize. Before you do that, there are a lot of strategy you go on into it. Hallelujah. First, what you need to do is that you make sure when he comes back, you welcome him, put him food, put him water to bath, the letter on you took him to bed before that first when you have an issue with your guy you don't need to allow the day break or what it depends the time you guys have a problem okay they make sure that if he's before he goes to work allow him to go to work immediately as he step his feet in the house prepare his stuff like you always do as as normal okay then you put him down sit him down say babe what is like this is like this i'm sorry okay i don't want to take part that i'm the one who's right but okay. all i want is in this relationship or in this marriage to happen yes. is that peace to reign and us to understand ourselves hallelujah that's all you understand wow okay that is very great that's very great uh mm, yes all right uh uh otini yeah you don't, don't don't leave don't allow things to get long don't allow the day to get break wabona Heat the road where it's hot. You understand? Yeah. So don't allow things to pass. Blow it. If you are really sorry, you have to tell him you are sorry. And don't allow the day to get break. As she said, to prepare his food and a hot bath. You take a bath. Then you, I don't know. When you say day break, it doesn't mean that it should be in the night in the bed or what? Oh, um, actually, that's why I put it like in a social way that people understand. Okay. No problems right. comes like today we have problems just this moment and maybe you're on the way going to we have a little quarry you know yes, yeah. and you quarry and it's like before to stop him to not go to work it's better you allow him to go when he's back okay if he's you understand now you understand, you understand, you understand <laughs> okay you okay 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 leave it here okay about. okay leave that miss okay. glad you see you understand where you are going to and where you are coming from yeah. about teeny yeah so we are very very happy we're having miss gladys here today and she's an expert she's a model and fiction uh as i say um we are talking to wise men and women, uh, professionals who have been in the game. So they are here to share their insights and outsides with us. And maybe there's a little girl out there, a little boy out there who do not know. Or some people are in a marriage or they have done something, their guys have done something, buyers or something, but, but, but they don't know how to say, I'm sorry. Well, these are some of the ways, you know, allow him, let him come, give him cool bed, give him good food. Then later say that you are sorry. Okay, are there some ways that you can, are there some more ways? Like actually, let's put it another way around. You understand? You know that men are always like 
they have a lot of things to to gut the women. Okay. Because we are like children, you understand? We got food so fast. Where actually, um, when it comes to women, uh, when the guy got the woman angry, uh -huh. get the girl angry, you understand? Okay. So there are many ways to catch her. But man, it's very difficult, but it's easy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you that you don't know. It's not easy. Okay, but uh, when it comes to women, you understand there are many Kanja. special things outside. There are some things babe will say, um, babe, I love this thing. You have no bother thing for that girl. You understand? And it happens that you got a misunderstanding. You find it very difficult, but it's very easy to get her. Uh -huh. You just go to a good, you understand, good shop. Uh -huh got the things she needed that time like there was no money yes ah, you bought from her from that moment she thought she saw those things except that woman is very wicked she saw those things she will know her life <laughs> no women are very like babies hallelujah they them like um babies eggs, are like egg. eggs okay before that like that you just carry them okay, okay you pamper them yes, okay all right all right, that's all right. That's this is a very great uh, it's a very great point uh, okay i used to see that some women always saying that a man cannot fool me a man cannot do anything what is there he has what no let me tell you one thing you need to know out there mm. think that things outside that inflate you to fall in love yes most especially when your man makes you angry mm -hmm. so in more circumstances never say to yourself they say they say these feelings that you had inside of you you can <laughs> never stay away that you can you do how <laughs> even your mama said every time you play love <laughs> <laughs> So you okay. now, yes, I feel you. I feel you. Okay, Otini. Yes, Miss Gladys is telling us here, right? All right. Yes, that gift. But you know, thing, buy those things. The thing that maybe she's been asking for, and when uh, you didn't give it to her, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna calm her down. You understand? Gonna calm her down. Wow, Haiti. So yes, we are on Immortalized TV Africa, and we are live, and uh, you are watching Facts with DJ Dawn. Uh, mm, mm, uh, Miss Gladys, yeah. mm, I wanna ask you something. Have you be, ever been, can you get married to a broke or poor guy? Mm, actually, everybody, that's not everybody's dream. Although we used to say it, you mm -hmm. understand. But actually, I will say my own part. I will not say that because I'm in the, you understand, no. I will say it depends the kind of broke guy. It depends. Okay. Okay. That broke, that broke. Yes. Yes, if you say. They are in levels and categories. Yeah, mm. levels and categories. So actually, if, if to me, my dream was not actually like I want to say it though. You push, you not blame me, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> no, no, come on, come on, you this is not reality. You're just, you're just talking, actually discussing. somebody which is big, you understand? Yeah. I like to, what I dreamt even when I was in school, mm -hmm. I always dreamt that I love to get married to a man that is not actually worthy as I think so people that are worthy. Mm -hmm. I just get married to somebody who is level on his own way, so I'll pick it from there and grow up. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's my dream. Oh, I'll not say I have okay. broke guys. So. Alright, right. so, okay. Can you marry, can you get married to a broke guy or not? When you say a broke guy, honest, to my own understanding, is like the person no longer working or what? Is no, I mean like it's not financial flowing. It's not like financial yeah, flowing. he doesn't have a, a, a job. Oh, you understand? Or oh, having maybe a pizza job or something that is not able to keep if the it's family. If it's a pizza up. job, I can bring food from the table. I don't have any problem. Before you become broke, you make sure you put my own business so so that if there's no means, I can. In a way, you're saying that if a guy cannot at least afford food, then there's no way. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. all women need to understand. If okay. you don't put a okay, nice. Okay, if I can understand you, it means no. Yeah. It means no. Yeah. Okay, but before you to go and look for money, why, 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 why is the king look for money? If you want to get a special good damn sales like this, man, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna look for money. She needs to look good as she is. You know, she needs to look good. <laughs> don't say told, that. No, you need to, she needs to look good. So that's what I've interviewed like 50 women. All of them are saying no. They need to have, every woman needs a backup. They need to be taken care yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so no, nobody wants to suffer. Who does not like a good thing? That's it. Okay. okay. All right. Mm. All right. Let's go now to the, um, another question. Um, mm. Have you ever been involved in a toxic relationship before, abusive relationship? Um, actually, I will say yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. That's what I want to know. All right. Um, like, for instance, now, if uh, wishes were horses, uh, if God asks you to make one wish, what will you ask for? Hmm. Actually, if God say I will make one wish, no, I didn't thought about that, but it's like it's coincidence. You understand now? Yes. Um, if God say I should make one wish, I will prefer people that is most especially I prefer people that are broke to give them more great and more importantly to focus in God. Hallelujah. Blessings will come. 
Hallelujah. So that's my witches in the world. Oh. Uh -huh. It's not actually witches in you understand? Uh -huh. so my witches in the world that I prefer God to bless people. Okay, that's your wish. That right. they don't have and they should worship him more so okay. that they will have. Okay. From there that blessing will come. Okay. Next uh, uh, ne uh, I wanna ask the next question. Okay. Should phones, should couples check each other's phones? Actually, I won't say that's possible. No, because there are a lot of temptation that come. But uh -huh. that's a situation. So to me, I prefer you use a same phone with your not single people. That one will go for married people. Mm -hmm. I prefer you should use single phone. Mm -hmm. The two of you should share share a phone, but not like people that are still dating in a relationship. Okay. That will cause scandal. Now you understand. All of us will know all those things. Okay. All right. So in a way, you accept like. With a single phone, which means it's the same thing. You want them, they can check each other's phone. It's same because if you're using a no, single for phone, for married people, not for okay, singular. not for not for singles. For married people, okay, for married do that people, it's good because okay. when the man is going to work, you can okay. take the phone away. Okay, okay, all right. If you, what will you do if you get, if you get your your boyfriend right? If you maybe if you if you get him right-handed having cheating on you, what will you do? Actually, um, I know that goes for me personal because I know what I've passed through. And I know what I've been into, and I know it's painful. But at, it, in real life, us women, they mm -hmm. said, when you caught a man with uh, with another lady, uh -huh. it's very simple. It's mm -hmm. just that to us, we used mm -hmm. to think that that man is your all, that man is everything to you. Mm -hmm. I know for that moment, it's everything to you. He's the one providing for you, he's okay. the one giving you what you need at okay. that moment. Without him, he's showing that you cannot have something without uh -huh. him. But in real life, to make things understand is that when you caught a, a, a guy with a lady, mm -hmm. make things very simple. Put him down, sit him down, let him tell you the truth. Okay. Then before that, before you enter a relationship, I know us will understand that and when a guy will say, hey, you're all out to me, you're everything to me. In more, more, in more situation, mm -hmm. you have to put it down when a man is coming to approach you. Yeah. Let him approach you in such a way that you will understand that maybe he wants what you have. Okay. Maybe he want to be with you. Right. Only you alone. Don't make a woman to understand that you are he's she's all on to you and okay. in, in the little run it happens that um, okay, okay. little things happen. Okay, okay, okay. It's not possible. Okay, okay. alright. Alright. Uh mm. like have you ever dated a man because of money? Actually I'll say no. I've never done that before. Yeah, really? Yeah, I've never done that before be to date a man okay. because of money. Right. Do you still miss your ex boyfriend? Um actually I yes, I do. But due to what happens, it's like uh -huh. how what happened. Mm -hmm. Now you don't miss him anymore. Yes, I don't miss miss him anymore because I've moved on. Ah, <laughs> wow, you've moved on. Okay, uh, so you are you married? No, I'm not married. I'm okay. Still single. Oh, what's a single woman? Um, woman, how beautiful she is. She's still single. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Oh, this is it, this is it. We've been uh, we've been on Immortalized TV African and this is DJ Don, you're watching facts. When we come back, we shall have DJ Don steak. Yeah, so welcome back. You are watching Immortalized TV Africa, and this is Facts with DJ Don. Yes, uh, our program today was about, uh, we're trying to talk about or discussing how you can say you're sorry for something you've done wrong to your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Yes, I was with Miss Gladys here today, and you've heard what she said. And uh, she said about some important and valuable points, or teeny, very nice things that we have to put in our relationship and try to put them at work. And they can come out, they can heal us fruits. First and foremost, when you are, so, for, this is DJ Don's take now. When you have done something wrong to somebody, first and foremost, the first thing you have to do, the initial, first things first, yes, say you are sorry, use your mouth. For instance, as I said, the Bible says, it's a pleasant words are like honeycomb. They are sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Yes, he said that, he also said that soft answers turn it away wrath. Why? Grievous words. He said grievous words stir up anger. You understand? Say you are sorry to your man, you understand? Or to your woman if you've done something wrong. But please, eye contact, be sincere. Don't be saying that I'm sorry while you're smiling. You look like a joke. You look like a fool. If it's me, I'll give you one slap on your jaw. You understand? You tell me you're sorry, you have to be sincere. I want to know that you are very, very, very sorry. Okay. So, <clears throat> secondly, when you are in love with somebody, you have to you have to try. Try by all means to know the type of things he or she the like. You understand? For instance, uh, it's not everybody who likes uh, rice. It's not everybody who, who likes fufu corn. So what you're gonna do is, when when you are sorry for something that is done, you've done. Okay, what you should do is look for his pep, his favorite dish or whatever he or she likes. You understand? And provide it to him. 
Understand? And when you, at this moment, when you are sorry, be careful. You are at your best behavior. You understand? Make sure that you are sitting in isolated places, but make sure you do the officials. You do the essential. Prepare his food or prepare whatever. Prepare his food. Now I'm talking for guys. So you prepare his food. Yes, make it and do the bed. Clean the house. Be at your best behavior. Do the things that you've never been doing before. Okay? Don't spend time on your phone. Please, when you are sorry, phones are for what? Phones are for pleasure, for laxity, uh, watching TV. No. When you are sorry, sincerely, please, it's rather you sleep. Don't sleep. When you, are, you lie in bed, you can be looking at places. He will know. He will know this one is disturbed. This one is not, it's not okay. It's not all right. Don't be, don't be telling me you are sorry, then you are browsing through your phone. You look like a joke to me. You understand? Don't be saying you are sorry, then you are, you're on this one TV, you are born and told you are, you are young, TV, you are, you, you are smiling, you are relaxing on a cushion chair. My friend, you are joking, you have not started. You have to start getting sorry. You understand? All right. This is, <clears throat> this is for the ladies. Yeah, for the men. Yeah, for, uh, yeah, that was for the ladies. Yeah. For men now, all right. When you are sorry, take her out. Propose things to her. Give her things. Don't propose. Give her things. Even if she ignores it, give it, leave it there. You understand? Just keep on doing the good things, doing right things. Try, don't go out. Don't go out that I want to go and see my friends because you're not uh, accepting me when I have phone at and I mean, no, that is not the solution. You are making matters worse. What you're going to do is stay at home, stay indoors. If possible, don't go to work. If possible. You understand? That, you, that will bring out the sincerity. So when you are sorry, you have to do these things. For instance, okay, then when you've tried certain things like this, if they're not working, you, he or she, you know the person that he or she likes and respects the most. You understand? When you have done these things, done these things and they're not working, you understand? What you can do now, you can go now externally now. Go to the It must not necessarily be your mother or your father. No. That must not necessarily be your mother or your father. You understand? You could, you could, you could, maybe it could be a friend. Some people, they like, maybe it could be a small cousin. They, they respect. Go and explain to you that he's not talking to me and I did something wrong. I'm very sorry about it. This person can come talk to him, understand? Don't go and start bringing, calling the whole village. You understand? There are some people which, if you have a problem with somebody, then you bring that person, you have aggravated situations. You've, 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 you are putting salt into the injury. So, these are some of the tips, as I'm telling you. Yeah, just follow your, uh, my numbers are passing on the screen. If you are going through personal relationship issues, uh, you can call me, you can, pre you can PV me. Yes, then we can discuss these things. Yeah, I've made many relationships work. Okay, so don't, 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 don't ignore little beginnings. Don't ignore what I'm saying. It is working. People have confirmed it and people are, are testifying about it. I have tips, I have many, many tips, but we can't put everything on screen. You understand? But then I can do it for you privately yeah this is dj don't stick yes we are at immortalized tv africa are you are watching facts with dj don all right mrs yeah all right is there any final words you have for the for the ladies uh, like if to do if they have done something wrong to their guys are there any final yeah words? i have a lot but i'll make it to be short okay and fast <clears throat> anyway this goes for the ladies out there um i'm talking about my soul mm -hmm. First, I will say, you guys should please, please, please try to understand your guy. Mm -hmm. No matter how hard the situation is, try to understand him. If he doesn't, he doesn't pull up, you make sure he knows that he has already moved on with his life. It means things are not moving when well he's with you. But that doesn't mean that he should dump you. That, that friendship, that understanding in everything that you're doing. Secondly, this goes to the guys. I will say, make things sweet in okay. your life personally. Okay. I know guys don't get old. Women us like us get old. But in real life, guys need to pull up. Mostly the ones that don't have any children that are not yet okay. moving out the city in jail. You understand? Yeah. So all I need in you guys is that before you before you before you, you move on, make sure you have something for you understand. Okay. They call and say for pigeon, say my chair. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is a backup. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Back something. Up, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, Bamfwe to Bafana Ita. If our second topic today, we'll be discussing when to know, how to know that it can no longer work. 
it needs only divine intervention. When you've done all the things you had to do and whatever, yet the guy or the lady is not budging, what do you do? How do we know that it has reached that point? Miss Gladys is here again. Yeah. Hmm. So how do you know that it's over? There is no way you've done everything. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> actually, how do I know before it happens that the relationship is no longer yes. pulling? Mm -hmm. Actually, um, I would say when the relationship is no longer pulling, and you're trying all possible means for it to pull, yeah. and it's not going. You know that sometimes that the way the guy he knows you, yeah. talk to you in a rude way, you even text, you will not even reply, that kind of stuff. You have to know before you, you, you realize yourself, you have to know that some two things in life. Mm. When you call a guy, babe, are you home? No, I'm not home. Why is at home? Mm. Uh, babe, what have you eaten today? I'm not hungry. You have <laughs> to know that hey. some things. You something need is to not know. right. Something is not right. Before you knew that, you just surprised him at home. Mm. Why is it I'm texting you and respond to me as if there's an issue? If there's anything, just tell me. Yes. He said there's nothing. Mm. All you just need to do is just to, first of all, think if there is something else. Yes. First, maybe he has a problem that yes. is disturbing him. Okay. Secondly, maybe he has a family issues. Uh -huh. But even at that, you have a family issue, you have some problems. You try to share if that you have been faithful to each other. Yes. Share it. If it's not something that you share me, you know that you are already off the line. Yeah. Then you have to take a decision by yourself. Mm. If you have been trying uh -huh. to take a decision by yourself, because you cannot be having any issues and you're telling me that hey, I have some issues, I have some family issues, it don't matter what the uh -huh. family issue is. Let you know, let you know separate your relationship no matter yes it, yes you think that is something that you don't need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. there's no need of being in that relationship uh -huh. move take a, a bold step and leave that's it just 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 like that yeah. okay hmm otini wabon mrs Gladys is telling us the truth otini when you've done all the necessary then i say benz amba amba did they, okay, this guy, this said guy, or this girl, said girl, uh, did God, uh, did your mother give birth to you and write your name in his head or what? Well, 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 not told. At least you've done, you've done what you have to do. You've done what you have to do, okay? So Miss Gladys is saying, is saying a very vital issue here, a vital issue that, but, but to Banam Tanji, many people, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are trapped into toxic relationships. Why isn't it? Like, they are like prisoners. Why, why, why will you want to be a prisoner in a free world? You understand? Yeah, it's good to be with somebody. Why are you thinking? Uh, hello, does it ring a bell? When you've done this and it's not going, walk away. Walk away, at least with your pride still remaining. Don't stay somewhere that you look like a joke. You look like a fool. You understand? There's somebody out there who, 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 really, there's somebody who cannot live without you. Just get out. Have some space of your time. Just relax. You understand? It's not like when, uh, when, when, uh, when you're coming out of this one, when now uh, you're just entering in another one. No, that's not how it rolls. You understand? For the wise guys and wise women, it doesn't roll like that. Take your time. Enjoy your space. Yeah. That is why, Batini, you have to, don't be a dependent girlfriend or boyfriend. Listen to me. You have to work. Do something. Do something in times like this. Rely on your thing you're doing. You understand? Don't be a lazy boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't depend on people. You understand? Try to do something for yourself when so that in times like this, when you are moving on, your guy is like, I left this girl, like she's still pulling on. Come on. You know, if people were meant together, that guy will come crawling on his knees. Then you give him the three C's. You teach him a lesson. The, if you love him, you understand. Don't just accept the mud. Sorry, let me not use words here. Don't just <laughs> don't just accept him or her that easily. They have to work. They have to work. All right. This is the second DJ Don't Stick in this second topic. What to do when you know that it is no longer working? I say bends. Okay. This is my take on this. You don't have to be a fool in any relationship. You are a free human being with their different qualities. Nobody, God didn't create any two people to be the same in this world. You are independent and beautiful as the way you are. There is nobody who can be like you. At least you have to be proud because of that fact. This is a fact. And we are on facts on DJ Don's. And this is Immortalized TV. All right. First and foremost, like Mrs. Uh, Gladys has said, there are certain things. 
when you have done something wrong, you begged him, you prepare his best dishes or best dish, or you buy that nice thing that she wanted, and then you you maybe you took him or you you took her out, yet they are still behaving anyhow. You've gone now externally, you go to see the people that they adore and worship and they respect, they come and talk to him or her. Then this person is still not budging. You understand? There are certain there are certain things which were not meant for you. Don't kill yourself over them. No need crying over spilled bean. If it's not working, I said harm. Leave. You are not you are not you are not pinned there, you were not uh, uh, trapped there. You can live your life alone. It's just that many people are scared to start it alone. They are scared, but you are actually strong enough to do it. Live a toxic relationship. You know, it's better to cry a river one day than to cry than to cry a stream every day of your life. You understand? When you cry that river once, it flows. Then it goes out. It releases you. You are free now. You understand? But at least your conscience keep up clear. Now nah, I tried, but I said, I tried. I did all I could do, but it's still not budging. It's still not working. Nya nya, hamba. Your conscience is clear. All right. When this is when you've done everything, invite somebody, and the person comes and talks to him or her. I hear they are not budging. Then after that, after that, please leave the house where you maybe you were staying together. Maybe you were living together. Hamba. Boom! Go somewhere. Don't go anywhere. Correction, please. Don't leave and go to your friend's place. Don't leave and go to, to somewhere that you are running out of relationship. Go back to your mother's home or your father's home. Go back somewhere that this person knows that... Because what happens? What is a mother and father for? Or maybe an uncle or a family member. Mm -hmm. There are people who do not have fathers or mothers. Go to somebody that you were with before this guy met you. And when you are leaving, please don't make it look like don't make it look like it's a challenge. Like because you've refused to come, I'm going. I'm moving on. Some people make these mistakes. So about eh, they start making calls in front of the guy or in front of the boy. Hey, baby, where are you? Hey, let me. What about that? You, you, you are a fool. Don't do that. Except you don't want that thing you are trying to beg. Or except you are just camouflaging. What you should do is tell him or her. I am going back to my mother's home. Since you don't want me here, it's okay. Let me go me back home. Let him be aware that you are going back home. And please, when you are home, call sometimes to say hello. Text if he or she doesn't reply. Let check on him or her. Don't let it be like you right. You want this guy. You want this girl. Yes. Don't let it be like, uh, no, uh, you are boning now. Uh, I'm a strong nigga. I'm a strong negress. Uh, I'm moving on alone. Yeah, what can you do? No. Except you don't, you don't need him or her anymore. Okay. When you're at your home, yes. When you're texting or you've done these things now, always call to check. Yes. Then, if it's still not going, if it's still not going, Banfue to get this advice from DJ Don. It's coming from an expert. I have been in a game before I was arrested. I've been in a game. And I don't want ladies out there to still fall in the same mistake. There are some unscrupulous guys out there who are just out to deceive ladies. I'm out for you guys when, when you that want to deceive and them. If they follow my program, I'm telling you, you cannot do anything to them. Except she, except she likes you. If I'm Tanda, yes, she'll come to you. But if I'm some fool, you cannot trick him or her. You cannot. As long as he's following DJ Don. I'm I'm saying the fact here. I'm saying the truth here. All right. Last point. Last point. When you have done all these things, when you are at your home, please. If it still didn't come, if he or she didn't yet come again to you, there are some people who are toxic and wicked. There are some people who are evil. You understand? Leave. Leave now. Stop calling. Stop texting. When you have texted, call, visit, or visited, yet he still or she not budging. When you go back home, 
Stay away from him. Don't call him. Don't text. Don't do anything. Give yourself some time. Don't jump into the next relationship. Give yourself to the time. Do anything that will take him away from you. If maybe he has his clothes or something, something of his. Of, take it away from you. Disperse it. Go away. If he is yours, he or she is yours, they will come back sometime. But relieve yourself of this stress. You understand? All right. That is that has been DJ Don's take on this matter of when to know is over. At least walk away with some respect. That is the only thing you got. Walk away with your respect. After he is not coming or she is not coming, go away. Hamba, puma le respect ya ako si si e bafana banyana. This is DJ Don, and we are on Motor S TV Africa, and you are watching facts with DJ Don. Okay, Mrs. This is the come, come to the end of the road. Give me an yeah. Uh, so, all right. Oh, anybody want to say uh, goodbye to, or I say hello to some people want to say hello. All right, hello to Mr. Tim, hello to Asu Chas, hello to Kame Chick Vibes. Um, hello to Mr. Don, hello to TV. Africa, <laughs> Motalize TV, Africa. Motalize TV, TV Africa. Okay. I'm very happy to be here. Hallelujah. I'm so, so happy and they welcome me so good. You understand, they have a lot of comfortable things, <laughs> photo shoots, they do many things, video shoots, I'm sure. If you can have TV Africa, mean there are so many things you come to come to eat, you will enjoy it. Hallelujah. Actually, I maybe really enjoy this and even the seat is comfortable, you understand. I'm enjoying it so, so good. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. We have come to the end of this program today. We were discussing how to know it is over and some ways to say, to tell your guy or your girl that you are sorry. You heard it from Mrs. Gladys. She's an expert. She's a wise one. She's a veteran. She's been around. She's a professional. So, and you also got it from me, DJ Dom. So, we are saying bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.